Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is Unify's uh, suspicious activity, or as you may have previously known it, intrusion detection and intrusion prevention. So let's hop on over to the UDR and we'll take a look at it. So we're under settings and then firewall and security. Scroll about halfway down and you're going to see uh, the section called Suspicious Activity. So when you highlight over the tooltip, it says notifies the potential security concerns to be investigated. Now, previously, this was known as Intrusion Detection and Intrusion Prevention. Uh, so they just they renamed it a little bit. But as you can see, uh, we've got No Action, which means it's disabled. We've got Notify and Notify and Block. So Notify and typically how we deploy this, whether it's with Unify or with another product, is we will put the IDS, IPS in just IDS mode, right? So we want to see what kind of stuff is there and get those notifications before we just carte blanche, block, everything. So you can do that. You can do no notify, notify and block. And um, there are 11 detection types, and we're going to look at this. So Low will only give you five out of 11. If we hit uh, edit, we should see those five. So low gives you worm malware, mobile malware, exploits, and shell codes. We'll go over what these mean from Unify here in a second. Medium gives you eight, gives you uh, bot command and control, mobile malware, worm malware, Tor shell, co shell code, exploit, and D shield. And then high is going to turn on all 11. Or you can do custom and come in here and edit if you only wanted to turn on one. Like if you just wanted to block Tor and peer-to-peer, -peer, you could do that. So we're going to turn on uh, Notify and Block, and we're going to turn it on High. Now, when we look at this, let's just take a look at what the tooltips are telling us here. So Bot Command and Control is threats from known active botnets. Worms are network traffic that indicates potential worm activity. Malware is infiltrative software that steals internet activity data and other sensitive information from your network or computer. Mobile malware is infiltrative software that steals internet activity data and other sensitive information from your network or mobile device. Peer-to-peer -peer is obviously peer-to-peer -peer traffic. Tor is, um, you know, used for not always great things, um, but it can also be used for anonymizing trying to completely anonymize unless you're the end node, right? Um, so it says network traffic sent to and from Tor exit nodes using an IP-based rule set. So that's a, a rule set that's being updated in the background. Uh, hacking, so we have exploits, general exploits that do not adhere to a specific category. Shell code, targeting of vulnerable processes being run on a separate machine, local network, or internet. DNS vulnerabilities and abuses of DNS such as tunneling. User agents are uh, known malicious HTTP user agents utilized by malware. And then <clears throat> this D shield is it cross references a list of IP addresses that have been uh, identified as the source of past attacks. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we've got a couple other things here that we should probably look at and turn on. So we've got this dark web blocker. It says prevent traffic encrypted by Tor from moving through your network. So we'll check that. And the malicious website blocker is Unify keeps a real-time database of IP addresses that are known to be malicious. And so we are going to go ahead and turn that on. So now this is going to be um, running, and it's going to block and, and give us notifications. I was trying to figure out how exactly what did I wanted to say. So, But if you're using, like, you know, Suricata on, like, PFSense or OpenSense, you're going to get the same performance out of this because this is Suricata under the hood, right? And at least Ubiquity does say that they have a real-time IP block list, right? So we're just going to have to see how it works. Now, I always recommend uh, turning this on, usually turn it on notify first and then notify and block. But as the insurance companies start tightening down on people for cyber liability insurance, this is going to be huge and this is the way that you can do it in router and a lot of places don't do it in router in router they'll do it off router like in line and so uh in the next video when we talk about this i'm going to show you how to do it with a grand stream router and an open sense box together 
So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's also affiliate links and a Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting, if you need to have an analysis done on your network to see what's going on because you've turned this on and you need some help or you need you know help with general best practices for security, for insurance or whatever, if you need voice over IP storage, all those things, reach out at willyhow.com. Go over there, fill the informational form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.